So hi everybody, Craig Hanson here. Welcome to my video guys. We are looking at a great pre-set drill here to get a number of things looking fantastic in your backswing and I'm going to show you how to practice it. Really sets off a wonderful chain reaction on many of the components and movements in this swing and that's what we want. We don't want to be thinking too much. We want a drill that does quite a few things and programs it so that on the golf course we don't need to think too much about it. Oh guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, hit the button, and yeah, like the video if you like the video, and leave your questions and your comments below. Have a look at worldclassgolf.com, uh, one of the most detailed teaching platforms in the world. Join the community there, you will not be disappointed. So we're looking at this pre-shot drill, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the big golf club here, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Very interesting, and it really sets off a great, uh, as I said, a chain reaction on the shoulder plane, your wrist alignments, and it's going to get your pivot into a position where it, which makes it actually quite difficult to hit a bad shot, which is a good thing. So what we're looking at doing here is when we pre-set the hands, we want to set the hands in a position here where the right wrist is breaking back on itself. Okay, so the top of the right hand is breaking back to the top of the right forearm. When you're doing this drill, what you'll be looking at doing is when you're pre-setting it is get the sole of the club pointed more to one o'clock and not 12 if there was a clock over this club face. Now from here what happens is when we pivot the shoulder stays down, the wrist alignments get in a very powerful position and you're getting your wrist alignment here matched up to your shoulder plane so it's really on an on plane strong position and you're going to get a lot of speed out of this club face position and this right wrist. From this front view what we're looking at doing is just setting the clubs, the club around about where the hands were with it at one o'clock. Now you're after a sensation here. I think sometimes people are using drills, just using drills in, in the hope, sure it does program, but what you're doing is you want to program it fast, so you want to feel what it does. Perhaps you can close your eyes at the top of the swing, or just notice where your left shoulder will go, because a lot of things will happen here naturally. One o'clock, preset, good angle, and just move yourself up to the top. And it's a great way to pivot, it'll get the shoulder down and away from the mouth. You'll get your shoulder plane correct, about a yard outside the ball. You'll get your hip plane good. You'll keep that right leg solid in a nice position. A little bit of symmetrical knee work. A lot of stuff here will happen by themselves. A very centered head when we're doing it. So the shoulder is, when the shoulder gets up and over the mouth, the head will be lifting up or you'll be moving off it. You can hit good shots from there but it's hard to consistently hit and compress out good shots from that position. This is a fantastic drill. So here's how we do it. Take your setup, assuring that everything's in a good position, okay? Pre-setting down to one o'clock that face, up to the top, pre-set, and then just blend it in to a couple of motions. You're getting your reps in. You want to program this stuff and then give it a hit. And after you've done that for a few minutes, just start getting into perhaps one practice swing or one pre-set drill, moving the club back and you'll find that after a while you'll really notice where the shoulder, where the wrist is and getting yourself to assemble the swing better at the top, which really makes it then much harder to make mistakes or when we do, the mistakes are better, smaller and more effective.